Hi, welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Gronke. Today we have a People Tools File Manager. I created this file manager because as a developer, I need access to the file servers with the files that I'm using there, such as the logs, the traces, the input files, and the files that we create. Usually we have a command line or the admins grant us access through a map network drive to some of the drives, but maybe not all of them. This utility allows us to see our file server much like the Windows File Manager. We can navigate up and down the directory, we can delete files, we can add files to specific directories, and we can also see download files to see our traces or what have you. Now please remember, this is a development utility, not a production module. The security on this is very simple. The security assumes that the user has access to the file server, the entire thing that can read, add, or delete any file on the file server. That's why this is a development utility for developers on a development machine, not anywhere near your production. As always, all the objects and code are available on peopletoolstechtips.com and also our GitHub repository, People Tools Tech Tips. So let's take a quick run through and see how the file manager works. This is the delivered navigation. Of course, you can put it wherever you like in the file manager page as it first loads. We have a current file path viewed, a refresh button, view parent directory, include subdirectories control, and file attachment control. Clicking the find button shows all the files and folder in the current path. The first column allows us to view that folder or file. The second column allows us to delete files. The third column is the file name, and then we have the full file name and path URL, continuing on to the file size and the last update date time. You can manually type in your target directory in the file path box rather than navigating up and down through the directory structures. This button changes the view to the parent directory of the current path. The include subdirectories checkbox controls whether we're seeing just the contents of the directory or a recursive search of all contents of all subdirectories of the current path. Notice here we see the 39 files and folders in this path. However, including the subdirectories, we have 623 files and folders in this path. Clicking the folder icon in the far left column drills down to that folder's contents. Clicking on the view file icon shows us the contents on that file as per how your browser will handle that file. The delete button deletes the file from the server. This is particularly helpful in people code traces. The attach button loads a file to the current directory from the user's machine. This comes in handy when loading sample input files for your processes. This is a quick look at the PeopleTools project going to download. It doesn't contain any records or views to build, but there are permissions and portly registry structures in there that you will have to place into your environment. If you need a more robust tool for the production environment for users, Take a look at CY Tools PeopleSoft Server Directory Viewer that does have a much more granular permission list and security structure around multiple different types of users. So that's our file manager. Download it and use it in your developments. Change it as you need it to make it work for you in your environments. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you next time here on PeopleTools Tech Tips.